Argentina 2, England 1. The South American challenge stays alive. It's the end of the road for Bobby Robson's England. Well, it's difficult to bear, isn't it, really? And, and particularly so because of the nature of that first goal, which I thought was a clear handball right from the start. And uh, uh, I don't know whether you saw it quite like that to begin with, Emily, did you? Well, when, when he's gone, uh, I thought he headed the ball, but looking at the, at the replay, I mean, it's guaranteed handball. He's mm -hmm. gone up there. Schultz has come a little bit slow off his line, and he's got up there, and he's, he's certainly got the, the, the touch of the hand on it. He's up there now. Jump, up he goes. And even then it doesn't it doesn't touch his, his head at all. What, what did you think about um, uh, Peter Shilton there, Terry? Uh, for me, with his hand or not, he's such a small guy. I think Peter Shilton, Shilton without a doubt, should have should have clattered the lot. Everything should have gone. The ball, everything. I mean, he plays in there. We thought he was offside, but it's our own man that knocks it in there. There, he comes there. He sh I think that... It's not even a cross, it's a straight ball, which, which is his ball all the way. I sense that Maradona almost paused himself after the ball went in the net because he knew what he'd done. To be fair, he didn't bottle it, did he? he... No, no, no. No, he's gone for it. <coughs> he's gone with one intention, which is going he in knows his every to get in the ditch. He's got a chance to go. I mean, that's, that makes the difference between great goal scorers. Yeah. You know, I mean, great. He's gone in there and he said, I'm in with a chance here. Up he's gone. And he has handed it. I mean, we, we've been done by a handball. Yeah. But, well, I there's mean, no goal, is it? I mean, that's what we're saying. I mean, we, we, in the beginning, we couldn't be sure whether it was. I thought that he'd headed the ball. and The hand was there, but I thought he'd headed it. So you can't really blame Lyons for making that, but nevertheless, it's no goal. Mm. Yeah. But I felt it changed the just tone the of the game, though, didn't it? Because they're one up now and they're playing with a bit more confidence. Yeah, but we're going back to what we're saying. We were playing a bit more confidence. Nevertheless, we're, we're, we're saying we played when we were two down. It's like the boxer who waits to get it on the chin before he fights back. Mm. And then if the, if the guy can fight better than him, he doesn't get back. Too negative early on. But, uh, but that second goal by Maradona was an absolute peach, wasn't it? Oh. I mean, you can't argue. I mean, that was... But then again, more than our... Inefficiency, you've, we've got to give that to the, the wee man, I and mean, he's done great there, isn't he? It's not only the skill, but it's the pure Fantastic. power, isn't it, as well? As, because Fenwick tried to foul him there, he put his arm across him, but he just he went through anyway. Fouls all day long, right. so strong as but he is so strong, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, we've, we've said this throughout the whole competition that he he's like a little pocket battleship, isn't he? I mean, he's so sturdy, so strong, big muscular legs on him, and he rides <laughs> tackles, about doesn't you. he? <laughs> <laughs> He rides tackles. I mean, he, he invites people to come in and, and have a go at him, he doesn't does. he? He shows the ball uh, uh, for people to go for it, and they get, they think, I've got it, and as he comes, he just rides them off um, brilliantly. And, I mean, and, he, and, and, and he commits them to making a tackle, knowing that he's going to be strong enough to set himself to bounce off people. Now, our number 10 had a very quiet game, Lineker, but uh, he was still there when it, when it mattered. And well, he, he nearly and got he the equaliser too, didn't he? Mm. Um, but again, Barnes has showed good skill, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I saw him in Mexico last year make two goals for Dixon again in this in this stadium. And to me, he is a great crosser of the ball. Mm. I think his crossing ability is excellent. I mean, he just has to put his head to it. But you know, we can't have it both ways, can we? Because we were imploring Bobby Robson to to go four four two and not pick the wingers. Uh, and Who now was? it's well, a lot of people were, yeah. um, and, and, and now he's brought a winger on and he's done something for us, so... No, know. we've had a winger, we had a Waddle virtually from the beginning. It's only um, for the last game, I think. Well, for the two games that we were successful before this, we didn't play a winger and everybody said, well, all right, excluding you if you like, Terry, but most no. people but most people said <clears throat> that is the way. And now we've brought the winger on and he's done something for us. I suspect the cry will be, let's go back to the winger. No, I, the, 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 I think it's always to know what's best for us at a particular time and against a particular team and um, he changed it from the winger and it brought us results so you can understand him thinking that that is the the valid thing but what we're saying is there uh, Barnes has shown outstanding skill and crossing ability which we know he's got well they could have gone 3-1 down then couldn't they England because uh, yes they got uh, angry then didn't they they, went, <laughs> they got annoyed they went it's straight that again isn't it I mean it's Maradona yes. again he, he does a Look turn that, and a that's... roll with the ball goes again, he plays a cracking ball player. wide, That's right. and even gets involved in it again. And Another now he ball. doesn't show any selfishness. You thought he's got That's a chance right. for him to go dribbling again. He doesn't. He plays it simple, and he comes, and he hits this great. And That's it? Tapia, who came on. Yeah. He hit that with power, because it was right <laughs> underneath his feet. He had no chance to get any... Well, <laughs> disappointment for all of us, and of course, particularly for the England manager, and sure. we can hear what he's got to say right now. Bobby Robson. Thank you very much.
Bobby, we are live now. Your reaction, you're out of the World Cup. Well, we've been so near, yet so far in football. Look, the players have done all they could do. You know, one's a dubious goal, one is a miracle. Uh, we've lost to a very good team because they compressed the situation in midfield all in the first half when maybe we couldn't really get our game going together. As a result, you know, we lost the supply to the two front players, the sort of service they wanted anyway. And you've got to give that, you've got to hand that to the Argentinians. But we could all, I mean, we did all we did in the last half hour. We stuck the two wingers on and had a right go at it. John Barnes did good work. And how Gary Lineker has missed, I don't know, with five minutes ago on a similar cross. Uh, but it doesn't defeat me, but I mean, it was just a very, very near miss. If it had gone in, who knows? We would have still been in there playing. But we did play very well in the last few minutes, didn't we? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, it was the only way back for us. We had to just throw caution to the wind. At this stage in the World Cup, you may as well lose 3 0 as 2 0. So uh, we did the right thing with the two wingers and we nearly made it. It was a very great effort, but on the day, Argentina seemed to be the first really good side you've met in the competition. Yeah, I said we've lost to a very good team. Uh, I think we're going uh, to no, hold the, our heads up fairly high. Uh, we weren't beaten by a, a slap happy team. They were a good unit, very compact, five in midfield, put us and worked us and, and didn't let us settle on it. Couldn't, we couldn't get free through the midfield. And as a result, obviously, the two little front players suffered because they didn't really get much of a chance of a slip. And, you know, with a heavy man-for-man -man marking as well, plus the sweeper, they really snuffed us out for much of the game. And you've got to hand that to them. You know, at this level, it's not easy, and we've done the very best we could do. Bobby, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Well, he hasn't really got a stutter, Bobby, of course. Sorry about the technical problems with that, uh, with that interview. We've got a few seconds for a final thought. Emmeline, first, uh, you know, what, what, where do we go now? What? Well, everyone, everyone's disappointed. You know, I mean, there's been pe people over here have been criticised for saying certain things about the England setup and who should have been playing, and that, that's our right to make... Like you. Yeah, that's our right <laughs> to make comments. I mean, we're, we're on a television show to make comments about what we think... And nobody is more sick than I am that England have gone out the World Cup competition. But you always get the feeling that we could have done more. You know, we've played for 10 minutes at the end of the game, and you've, you've been up, come on, let's get at it. But Final comment, Terry, very, very briefly. No, I've, I've obviously I'm very disappointed because you, you do get the feeling we could have done more. At the end of the day, um, I think Argentina deserve the result, to be fair. Right. I thought they should have won the game. All right. Well, we knew the danger, and so it was proven to be, in one way or another, a man called Maradona has put us out of this World Cup. From us, cheerio. Maradona just walked away from Hoddle then. Valdano, Hoach, and Maradona! They're appealing for offside. The ball came back off the foot of Steve Hodge. And Maradona gives Argentina the lead. The England players protesting to the referee. But the little man who started it by walking past Glenn Hoddle, that's where the ball came from Hodge. Maradona had continued the run forward. And the goal is given. Now, at what point was he offside? Or was it a use of the hand that England are complaining about? Here's Maradona again. He has Burchaga to his left and Valdano to his left. He doesn't he won't need any of them. Oh, you have to say that's magnificent. There is no debate about that goal. That was just pure football genius. And the crowd in the Azteca Stadium stand to him. Inside one, away from another. And the coolness under pressure to play the ball home with the side of his foot. If the first was illegal, the second was one of the best goals we've seen in this championship. Stevens, Fennick is still forward. This is John Barnes, away by Ruggieri. Only to Kenny Sanson, to Hodge, appeals for offside, he wasn't. This is John Barnes. That's nicely done. That's a good cross to Kyrgios Lineker! Nine minutes left. And English hopes are rekindled. And John Barnes, 
who has had to stay for so long as a spectator, did what we know he can do, got to the far line, a lovely cross, and Lineker gets goal number six in this competition. Tomorrow night, the story of the path to success of one of boxing's legendary figures. Okay, what's your name, kid? Jack Gibson. I'm a prize fighter. I've always had a soft spot for prize fighters. The story of Jack Dempsey is at 10 past 11 tomorrow night here on BBC One. And that's followed at 1 a.m. by live coverage from Las Vegas as world featherweight Barry McGuigan defends his title for the third time. In September last year, he retained the title against Bernard Taylor of the USA. Last February, he beat Danilo Cabrera of the Dominican Republic. Barry's new challenger is Steve Cruz from the USA. Join BBC One for a unique double bill of boxing starting at 10 past 11 tomorrow night. Esther Ranson and the team.